In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can be able to take any API or API documentations that you have and be able to convert it into an MCP server, host it in the cloud using this powerful tool here, which I'm about to show you without any coding or IT backgrounds. And not only I'm gonna show you how you can be able to host this in the cloud, but I'm also gonna show you how you can be able to handle the authentications, how you can be able to change the visibility for the MCP servers using this powerful tool, which I'm about to show you. And I'm also gonna show you how you can be able to use the tool sets here, where let's say if you have multiple multiple APIs like Google Maps scrapers or another API that scrapes the email for, for the Google Map places or also another API that scrapes the content of the websites. And what we can do is that we can actually be able to package those APIs into one tool set so that the MCP server here can be able to have access to all those tools or all those endpoints from different APIs here. For example, you can have the MCP server here first scrape the places from Google Maps. And once it's scraped the places, it's also going to scrape the content of the websites to understand more about their business and also can be able to use the Google Maps email scrapers to, to scrape their email for the business and simply we can be able to use that into one MCP server here inside of our project. And lastly, I'm also going to show you how you can be able to integrate this and test this with your own machine for the large language model like Claude or OpenAI and be able to integrate that with your large language model here. So pretty much that's what we're going to cover in this video. If you do found value in this video, please make sure to like this video, consider subscribe for more content like this. But with that being said, let's continue the video. All right, so first thing first, we're gonna to navigate to speakeasy.com and this is gonna be the product we're gonna to use to turn APIs into agentic tools for MCB servers. So to get started, first thing first, we navigate to the applications, we log in, and here you can see we don't have any MCB servers yet. So here we're just gonna click on get started. And here, all we have to do, just drop the open API spec here and it will basically create the MCB servers based on our API specs. Now, in terms of API here, I'm just gonna choose one of the API from appify.com. And here you can see there are many APIs that we can choose from. So for demonstration here, I'm just gonna choose the Google Maps scrapers here where we can scrape locations, businesses from Google Maps. So for example, let's say if I were to use the Google Maps scraper, for example, and here, if I were to click on the API and click on the open API definition, and inside here, you can see that it contains a full documentation for the API so that the gram here knows exactly how to create the MCP servers based on this documentation for the API. So instead of Visual Studio Code here, you can see I create a file called Open API Google Maps here. And simply all I had to do is just paste the Open API documentations. And here, what I'm gonna do is navigate to Gram and simply just upload that file for the Open API spec. All right, so once I drop the Open API documentations, I can be able to create an API name. Here, I'm just gonna say Google Maps Appify. So here, I'm just gonna click on Continue. And here you can see it's gonna create a tool sets on what are the tools that the MCP server is gonna use to call the API. For example, it can be able to call the crawler here to crawl the places from Google Maps. And it can also be able to call the get data sets to be able to get the data from the crawler. So in that case, once we satisfy with this, we can be able to click on continue. So now what we can do is we can be able to customize or configure our MCP server. So here we can be able to customize the MCP server slug or the server name here. And here we can simply just rename this to be Google Maps Appify, for example. So I just add an underscore here and click on continue. Here you can see we have our MCP server fully created. All right, so after we have the MCP servers created, you can see we have our URL, we have the visibility, everything. So now what we can do is we can click on the gear icon here to configure our MCP settings. So inside of our settings here, you can see we can change our hosted URL. And here we can also change the visibility. So here you can see we can change the publics. So anyone with the URL here can be able to access this tool. And if we were to scroll down, you can see that this is the MCP installation on how we can be able to install this with cursor or Claude desktop, which I'll show you later in this video. So now what we can do is we can actually be able to test this using the playground here. So inside of playground, you can see that we can be able to change to using the Google Maps Appify, which is the one that we create. And simply here, we're just gonna use this MCP tools inside of our large language model chats. So instead of our test playground here, you can see currently I'm using the Sonnet 4. So now you can see that if I were to provide the prompt on find the top five Chinese restaurants in Vancouver, BC, Let's see what the large language model here generates. All right, so now you can see this is what the result look like, which here you can see the large language model here calls the MCB tools here to crawl the data for the Chinese restaurants in Vancouver, BC. And here after it scrapes the data for the Chinese restaurants, here you can see we're setting with a minimum four star rating. So now you can see that it's going to retrieve the results from the data sets by calling the MCB tools here. And once we retrieve this, the large language model here concludes the answer. And here you can see we have our list of top five restaurants in Vancouver, BC. Here you can see it contains the name, the ratings, the you know the address, right, the price range, and also specialties and so much more. All right, so now let's take a look at how we can be able to add our MCP server here onto our call desktop. So here what we can do is we're gonna click on the MCP settings, and here you can see it tells you exactly for the installations, 
And we can also click on view here and it gives you the MCP URL. And if you're looking to add this to cursor, you can simply just click on add, add a cursor button here. It will basically prompt you to the cursor link, which will add it onto the settings there. But if you don't want to add it to cursor, you want to add it to Claude, here's how you can do this. So inside of our Claude here, you can click on settings. And here I'm just going to click on add custom connectors. And here I'm just going to copy this URL, paste it here, and I'm just going to give it a name. So it's going to be Google Maps Appify. And here I'm just going to click on add and we can be able to add this MTP server here. So now if I were to open a new chat, so now let's say if I were to provide the prompt and here I'm just going to send this request. So now let's take a look at how the large language model here generates. So first thing first, you can see that it's calling the MTP tools here. And here we're just going to grant its access to say always allow. So here you can see after we grant this access, you can see that it's calling the MCP tools here to crawl the data from Google Maps. And after it's crawling the data, you can see this starts making another call to get the data sets to retrieve the information that has been crawled. So now you can see that once we get the response, it's going to conclude that response by giving us the response we're looking for. So here you can see we have the companies, the ratings, the phone numbers, the address, everything else. So pretty much you can see that we can be able to use Gram here to create our MCP tools and be able to integrate this with our large language model here like Claude and be able to use this inside of our chat sessions. Now, of course, inside of our MCP tools here, we can also make additional changes. For example, I can be able to set it to private. And once I set it to private, only users with the Gram API key can be able to read the tools hosted by the server. So inside of this, I can be able to change this and be able to add the Gram API key inside of my MCP settings configuration file. And once I set this, I can be able to call this with the API key. And to get the API key, you simply just click on settings and here you can simply just create your API key and be able to use that inside of your configuration file. Now, the other additional features that Gram offers is that it can also be able to create tool sets. So here you can see I have also added some multiple APIs. So let's say if you have multiple APIs or APIs that have multiple tools, we can actually be able to categorize them into one tool sets. So here I can be able to click on add tool sets. And for example, here, let's say if I were to mention Google Maps and here I can be able to select the tools that I want. For example, I can select the runs the get data sets. And here you can see at the bottom here, I also have a Google Maps email scraper, which specifically scraped the email for Google Maps. So let's say if I want to also include that as well, so I can include this and also that, which currently you can see that we have selected almost about four tools in total. And here, if I were to go back, you can see that these are the four tools for this tool sets, which call the Google Maps tools. And this is going to be the MCP server, which we can also be able to set the names for this. So let's say if we want to set the name for this, like for example, Google Maps master, which contains all the tools for the email scraping for the places and also find the location details for Google map places. So here in the bottom here, you can see we can also change the visibilities for the MCP server for this one, where we can simply be able to integrate this with our large language model like Claude, OpenAI, or anything. We can change the visibility to public or private. If you're using private, you're going to use the Gram API key. So pretty much that's how we can be able to turn or convert multiple APIs into one MCP server using the tool sets feature where we can select which tools we want to include into one MCP server here. So pretty much that's it for this video. Hopefully you found value in this video. Pretty much I show you how you can be able to convert any API documentations into one MCP server hosted in the cloud using this powerful tool called Gram AI. And also I showed you how you can be able to host this, add authentications, adding a tool sets, and also how you can be able to test this using the playground and also integrate this with your machine for a large language model here. So pretty much that's it for this video. If you do found value in this video, please make sure to like this video, consider subscribe for more content like this. But with that being said, I will see you in the next video.